most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today, Bob. we're going to talk about how to sit pain-free at home with back pain and sciatica. The big thing with back pain and sciatica is you want to avoid this position. So I'm going to look, have the spine here aligned. Brad, do you mind facing sure. that way? So you want to avoid that C position that we're talking about, that slumped position. If you recall from some of our earlier videos, that is the position that can cause the discs to herniate or bulge. So, Or, you, or if they are, make them worse. Right. If they're already herniated or bulging, it's going to make them worse. And also, if you just have plain old back pain, that can stretch out the ligaments, which make your back unstable. So sure. these are all things you want to avoid. What we're wanting to do as much as possible when we're seated is to get into the S position. Now, I don't know if this is an S this way or it would be this way. I never know on camera. <laughs> but you're going to have a curve in, basically, a curve out, and another curve in. So th that's where we're concerned about is right here in the yeah. low back. This, this lumbar, they call it lumbar lordosis. It's just a, a curve going inwards facing from the back side. This yeah. Way. So you're going to want to have something to help support that. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a lot easier because if you have to try to do it on your own, your back gets fatigued, right. and your back is the strongest when it's in this position. So that's what we're shooting for. Um, but we're going to say that even if you are in this position, which is the correct position, it's still not great on your back to be sitting. As much as possible, when you have back pain and sciatica with mo most kinds, right. you, you want to avoid sitting to a large extent. I'd rather have you stand or lie down if you're able to. Right. So short-term sitting is best. Sitting on a taller stool is better than sitting on. You know, the lower the chair, the worse it is. Yeah, good point, Brad. I actually, we probably should have brought a big stool in here. But, but uh, well, anybody could do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> actually, there is one right yeah, there. Yeah, we'll we, grab we could, it from Tanner. Yeah. Well, we'll we can talk there. about you know how low a, a chair like this is at soft. It's, it's low to begin with. Plus, it has three to four inches of cush that even drops you down lower. Yeah. Why don't we start with this chair, Brad? Sure. Just so we're going to show what we're going to first try. So we're going to avoid sitting. So when I had a, an episode of sciatica, I actually stood as much as possible, and sure. I did my notes that way. So mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's some jobs where you can stand. There's some jobs where you might have a standing table. Right. But right. Um, so if you're going to just in a regular old chair like this, uh, you're going to want to try to have some support there. A lot of times we have people start mm -hmm. off with a roll towel, and the reason we do that is because. That way you can kind of adjust it to your curves. If you're a larger person with a larger buttock and uh, lar larger curves, you're going to probably want to have a larger towel. Sure. It, it has to fill in that gap. If you're a more slight person like I am, you probably don't need as much. I, I get by like in my car with just a piece of foam like this that's sure. only that far, th that, that thick. Once you've determined which one works for you, mm -hmm. then you can get a more permanent one. And you know it's working for you because it's clearly going to feel better. It's yeah. going to feel like good support. You can say, wow, I wish I would have put that in there a long time ago kind of a thing. And generally, you want to have it around the belt level or a little bit lower. I, I tend mm -hmm. to find a lot of people like it lower, depending on the style you use. Yeah, so. but you'll know again because it's going to feel good. You'll just adjust as it feels uh, how it feels. How it feels better, yeah. And these are, are some of the foam supports. These are by McKenzie. Uh, we'll have some of these listed in the, the uh, comments below right. or in the, in the description below. Right. So they but have, you can see this one's way too much for me, Brad. Too big for yeah. you? Here, yeah. try, try this one. That's called the D-shaped one because it's not round. And it's pretty firm. Yeah, and it, the density of the foam is firm. This one's a little better. I, I'd still probably be too much for me, but yeah. it's, it's better. And, and this now, Look at that one. Yeah. So this is the one I'd probably use. And what's nice about this one's air filled, so you mm -hmm. can actually adjust the air in sure. it. Sure. So um, you want to grab your favorite one yeah. there, Brad? And that's the thing. There is no way for us to determine what your back needs. And it also depends on not only your body, but the chair. If you got a soft, cushy chair, some cars are rounded out more than other ones because they're older. They're just built bad. Yeah. Like, well, when we go over to the recliner here, you're going to find out we... We need a lot bigger of a support right. there. So this, this is the one that Brad likes. Right. 
I, I don't have sciatica, but I deal with spondylolisthesis. It's kind of similar to stenosis, but this is a memory foam, and I had the biggest problem for years getting out of a car with back pain, and I found this, and it, it just changed my whole world in regards to sitting in a car for Weren't long you even term. using this when you're cutting lawn? Your yeah, lawn yeah, lawn? yeah, yeah, in my lawnmower. Yeah, 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 I okay. still do. I like this one in a in an office chair. Sure, uh, but it's too much in my car. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like it for that. Yeah. So, and that's the thing. You may have like like Bob. You know, you may have a different one for your car, and I just keep mine in my car. So I've got this one. I've got one in my other vehicle, and then I've got an old one for my lawnmower. Sure. <laughs> so we uh, why don't we go into the recliner here and just show real quickly, Brad, how quite often you do need more support behind there. Like I, I generally use a throw pillow Sure. Behind, uh, when I'm in the softer chair like that. Yep. You want me to go in? Yep. Go ahead, sure. Bob. Be my guest. So, so again, because this, and this was actually firm, this isn't too bad of a chair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Compared to a lot, but it's still, even with that, that's about right. For that me. feels good. Yeah. And, and that would be way too much for me in a chair. Right. So, right. and to be honest, um, as far as putting your legs up, you want to be carefully to bring them so far up that they're actually stretching the sciatic nerve and causing you pain. Yeah, you and that, I mean? that may vary depending on how severe your, your sciatic is. And then can you go back? I with don't that? know if this goes back. I don't think it does. No. So, but yeah, the more you can go back, a lot of times the less stress there'll be on your back. Exactly. We know a lot of people that end up sleeping in a recliner mm -hmm. and uh, we're not thrilled with it. But a lot of people just seem like they can't sleep anywhere else. And so if you're going to sleep, put it all the way down as far as you can. Right. And make sure you have the support in your bag. Right. Make sure you have yeah. the throw pillow in there. So I, I have one of these actually, too, for my recliner. What do you have, like 50 of them? <laughs> I mean, three. I think <laughs> three, and then that old one doesn't count for so, the one more. But I could see this one, too. Yeah, this would work well in the recliner. So, yeah, that feels really good. Yeah. So it, I can I can see that. Yep. So, so yeah, it's uh, the critical, uh, a very critical aspect of sciatic and back pain management. Yeah. So on the couch, um, if you're sitting on the couch, you want to do the same thing. But more often than not, it's better for you to actually lie down on the couch yeah. and, and, and put some support in your back. Right. Because that'll be a lot better on your back than than any type yeah. of sitting would be. And, and sometimes, so many oftentimes, couches are really fluffy, soft. And those are, you should just, don't even go on. Don't lay on them, don't sit on them, just stay away from them. Going back to the office, Brad, I, I don't know if we mentioned this or not, but again, we don't want you sitting at all if you can, but if you have to sit, try to sit for like 20 minutes and then get up and walk around. Right. That's going to be a lot better than for you than if you even sit in perfect posture. For right. You. For exactly. Hours on end. So we're going to go over just a few other things to do, uh, you know, as far as techniques or, or hints. Um, number one, uh, if you're going to lie on the floor, or uh, a lot of times some some people to give themselves some relief, why don't you lie on the on the mat here? Actually, yeah, Brad. Some people will actually lie on the floor, and they'll put their foot feet up on the coffee table. Coffee table, ottoman, oh, ottoman, or something like sometimes that. Sometimes even your uh, furniture, you can go up if it's not too high. You've done this, haven't you? Oh yeah, um, absolutely. I do this, and I put a cold pack under my back, and I've had patients do the now, same. This would this is something you'd only do if it feels better. Right. Um, and and yeah, Brad often puts a cold pack in there. It kind of gives his back a little support at the same time, and helps Ooh. cool it down. Now, another way, I'm going to have you get up now, Brad, if you don't mind. Oh, no. Oh, actually, while you're in that position, why don't we show the leg wedge, too? Oh, yeah, we should, because that is better for most people. Right. More comfortable relief. Um, this is another way to lay down, lie down, mm. and and uh, actually get comfortable. A good alternative to sitting, really. I know this is supposed to be about sitting, but this is a, it gives you a good break from sitting. Right, exactly. So, yeah. I have one of these too, Bob. Okay. Another thing is, instead of, hey, there you're dropping your pennies again. Well, that's a tip. Okay. Uh, another thing, if you're going to watch TV for a long time, it wouldn't be the worst every once in a while just to get up and, and lay, lie on your stomach. Right. Uh, if you watch some of our other videos on sciatica, you're going to remember that or recall that that's the treatment where we start you off, you know, up on your elbows and then we have you do press-ups. So. Yeah. yeah and we... Yeah, you should watch those videos. If that's not comfortable, if it 
increases pain, you may not be ready for that position yet, but right, uh, that's a whole nother video, really. So, yeah. uh, we want you to walk often. Um, right. walking, uh, we did a whole video on this too, it's part of the series, but walking can really help your sciatica. So you really want to make sure that, that you want to incorporate that into your day, mix it up with the sitting. Right. So, and again, walking on flat surfaces, not up and down hills, uneven surfaces, those are, are off the, off the radar, but nice flat surfaces. Good. So we'll have a, a separate video action on how to sit in a car. Okay. That's a whole different animal. Right. And, uh, Check out the rest of the videos from the, the program. That's right. Yeah, it's a complete program, Bob. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>